Hey everyone, it's Shaver1000 here. Today, we're going to be changing this ugly light. That light right there. Well, you can't see very well without it. But, anyway, it's very ugly. You'll see here in a minute. And we're going to put... One of those style lights in it. Canister light and get rid of that ugly thing. So stick around, I'll show you how we're gonna do that. Okay guys, we're gonna start, just start by taking this thing off. I haven't had this off in a long time. I had to change the bulb in it. Uh, one day a few years ago. We can put our shade on. You guys see that? And I dropped the bulb and went on to the floor and shattered. straight screwdriver just loosen these this should turn come down out of our way now that one's loose Okay, so this has got a box in it. So I need to see <clears throat> I may have to go up and add it and take that box down. Uh Okay, so, but anyway, I got a tester here that if I run this tester along any of these wires, if they're alive, the end of this will light up red. As you can see, it's off. If you don't have one of these testers, it's really cheap. If you don't have one of these testers, I think this one was like 10 bucks, but if you don't have one, just um, go to your circuit breaker and shut your breakers off one at a time until your power goes off to the unit. Turn, turn your light on, and then go do that. This does. This has got a ground, but it's not hooked up, and it's got a ground here, and it's not hooked up. So that that, that should have been grounded. So I don't know who put that up there. Uh, she's thinking it's original to the house, and I think it is too. But, huh? Wonder how that ever passed. All right, let me uh, let me see what I can do about that box. I may have to get up in the attic. I hope not. Okay, guys. So I got to go up in that hole and crawl clear way back there. So I got to go two thirds of the house back. Um, all right. Well, <clears throat> I've put this off long enough. I've been I've got old blue because my camera's right there so I got old blue I'm gonna I've wasted enough time I've smoked about three cigarettes and 45 minutes uh, trying to get out of going up in there but I got everything up in there I think I need but we'll see so yeah well let's start to get up there that's why I don't like to get up here uh, I've only been up here a couple times 
but I gotta go way back to about there. Uh, so I'm still standing on the ladder, so I don't know if you can see this, but I gotta climb up here and through this hole here. So I'm gonna set you guys down and um, crap. All right, guys, stick with me. Okay, guys, so we made it back here. There's the bathroom over there. And the camera's gonna fog up. I can't film this for you, because I didn't bring a tripod. And, but what I'm gonna do is I brought my hammer and drill up, okay? So I gotta <coughs> see these boxes are nailed on right there one over here so I'm gonna pry that box off of there and I'm just gonna drill right down beside this and hopefully that'll cover any hole that might be down there so let me get get to that and I'll be back with you hang tight all right guys the hole's cut all right now I gotta get down in there I don't need a box for those canister lights that's a good thing about it. I'll show you about that here in just a minute. Let me get down out of this attic. We gotta go clear up to where that light is. Man, small house, but you get up in here where you don't want to be, and it looks like a long way. All right, guys, hang tight. <sighs> hey, going up there. Had this, carried this big light all the way back through there. Done everything I had to do. Got halfway out and realized. Got this, this hat on. I had to turn the air on and cool down. We'll get back at it and I'll show you how these. Well, I'll show you real quick with this camera. All you gotta do, pull this back, lift that up got these are called Wago connectors so I don't need wire nuts and this just goes up in and these come out like traps and that's what holds it tight up against the ceiling whoo all right let me get cooled down guys messy 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 Okay guys, so I'm just going to clip those into those Wego connectors. It's real simple. This one's a green and yellow, but anytime you see green, that's a ground. So you just clip them in here. So I'm going to go to ground, black to black, and white to white. Come on. Here's a ground, and here's our white, and here's our black wire, and I forgot to run them through the holes. Alright, I gotta get a screwdriver. Well, no, I don't. There's that. But I gotta get these back out. running through this hole here in the side there's a hole there I just popped that little alright so make sure it's one I want so I'm gonna go in here now I'm gonna hook them up <laughs> again Real simple, safe, and easy. Love these things. They're expensive, but, well, you know, define expensive, but they're so easy to use. Now, hook up our black wire. 
that's your live your live wire is black white wire is neutral and of course your green or green and yellow in this case is uh is your ground so now just gonna put these up in here put that on there and then just push that up in there and those those handles one's not wanting to snap back like it should Ow. did that time there we go snapped up that time all right now so that cut along pretty good there's one little spot here where the paper ripped, but I can get a piece of this paper down here that's still got some of the popcorn on it and put it up there if I have to, or just get some popcorn stuff and spray it so it turned out pretty good. Now, I'm not going to turn that on right now because I got something else we're going to do. These lights are set up for you can dim them. So, I've got a new dimmer switch we're going to put right there. So, let me get you set up for that. That's going to be pretty easy. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, um, I have I have the power turned off. Lighting's pretty bad. I can't get you guys. I can't put the light that I got shining on here. I can't put it back there. There is a plug right down there. But I believe it's connected to this circuit i'll give it a shot because so you guys can see better okay guys i got you at a better angle but check this out this is stupid electricians now we've got lights there those are the only things now except for the garage that aren't led those don't count because they're vanity lights that is an led that's the fan we put in and there we have it the fan is installed but if you can see, that's for the main light. Nothing happens. This is for the vanity light, and it comes on. The fan comes on, and this is on. But, I mean, I don't get it. All right, let's get back to work. Okay, you might have noticed I changed my hat. I had to get a cooler hat on. This is what we got here from Lowe's. I'm not endorsing them. I just do like this product. And uh, it was reasonable. This one was actually bought by accident. We was gonna we wanted a beige to match like this color, the wall. And this is more of a white. It's an off-white, but it's more of a white. So we went back to get the other one. <laughs> Excuse me. Went back to get the color we wanted. And I said, I told her, I said, hang on. We'll just keep this one. I got an idea. She's like, what, what idea? Well, that was the same time, like I said, I put the lights in in the kitchen. That's how long I've had this and I kept forgetting and whatnot. Remember, ladies, just if a guy tells you he's going to do something, he'll do it. There's no reason to remind him every two or three years. He'll get to it. Because it's been almost three years. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. I should put this on my driver, but hopefully you guys can see all right. Yeah, I had to change my hat and it's still hot. Uh, I don't have the air on because it's awful noisy, but. 
uh, yeah they give you you got your instruction booklet here it's real simple um, you've got they give you wire nuts in case you need them you got some hardware in there a couple screws uh, so yeah we'll, we'll we'll need the hardware because or the wire nuts because well maybe not I don't know we'll see okay so all right man I gotta go cool off pull this out those things are handy right there but a lot of electricians say so don't use them because it doesn't make a good contact it only contacts in one certain point like right there which makes sense to where if you wrap it around here it makes a good a better contact but I've actually had them pull out of these before but all right again I got to take a break I'm sorry guys it's really hot I'll pull this base this cover plate off of here so I can get to that but that's what it's going to look like that's not going to match the wall too bad the other one matches better the one for the kitchen but it's fine um, she likes everything to match but I think it'll be all right so let me get cooled down again so it's real simple guys the blue cap that they give you in here it's going to cover this red and white one up when I'm going to be using it this is going to go to ground over there where that green wire nut is um, and then we're going to have a red wire and a black wire like that so I think I got to find out which one's power though so I have to turn the the uh, because the power wire is going to go into the red and then the black is going to go to black so one or the other so I'll have to turn the power on and I'll show you how I use my that tester hopefully I do not get electrocuted so I just want you to put the blue one on here onto the red and white wire because it's not going to be used just like that give it a tug and make sure it don't come off and then I'm going to have to get a pair of pliers probably maybe not and then the green is going to go onto the ground there like this this is going to go up in here like that so let me go see that ground just barely stuck in there it's kind of chintzy let me go turn the power back on and I'll check this and see which one's live and the live one will go into the red and then the black one will go to the other black wire okay guys so I want to turn this light off up here so you can see it a little better you can see that blinking that's my hot one that's one that the red wire is going to go to and the other one so it'll put power into the switch and then it'll come out of the switch and go into this one the top one here which will um, which will go up into the light so alright let's get these hooked up okay so let's Just make sure I got the right one. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go like this. So this is gonna go over here to the ground. That's gonna get pushed back in there. The red one. I'm going to go down here and put a put a wire nut on here and then black to black okay. now 
down a second. I need to cut this one down a little bit. It's too long. Right now, we're just going to tuck all this stuff back up in here the best we can. slot there. Just line that up. second. Perfect. Got one in the bathroom. I did. Damn it. And it's crooked as a dog's hind leg. Really bothers me. Let's see if this thing works. Okay, guys, let's see if this works. Yay! Oh, nice. Oh, sorry. Nice. Yeah. 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 And the good thing is you don't have to go up in the attic to change it. You just pull that light down, flip the switch on the back. You got warm light, you got cool light. This is um, this is bright um, sunlight or sunshine or whatever. So there's that. So we'll flip it on. There it is. So. Like at night time, you know, if you don't need it all the way, you can just turn it down. We, we, I figured up we, since we put the lights, the LEDs, there's six of them over there in the kitchen with that dimmer. And we use the light a lot. We've knocked off like $30 off the bill from what it used to be when we had the fluorescent lights in there. Mm -hmm. Just the two fluorescent bulbs. So, um, this one had... 
is a cool light. The style in it. Two of them. And I'm not sure what what they are. I'm looking to see, but but anyway, yeah, that. Uh, but those are cool. They're they're old style. Like if you have an open lamp, you put these in. They look really cool. But yeah, so there it is, guys. All right, project done. Now I can put my stuff away and stay the hell out of the attic for another year or two. The last time, uh, I don't know if it was the very last time. But I know it was at least second to the last time, like five years ago, I put the fan up in the bathroom and I just got the wires hooked up and everything that I needed to do up in there and two big old spiders started like coming at me and I came down out of there and I had a couple lights up there, I had <laughs> some pliers and stuff that was up there for like two to three, no it was three years, wasn't it? Three years and, and then... Um, I had to go up in there and get them so yeah um, but that's why I took old blue up into the attic because if I had to shag and get the hell out of there old blues done its job it's made my money so it could have stayed up there for a year or two I don't care but I didn't want to leave you got this camera up there so all right guys thanks for watching appreciate it Shea Bear the myth the man of legend I'm gone for now we'll see you in the next one Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Have a great weekend. Stay safe.